Princess Kate's storming motion at Meghan in front of the throng in Windsor is explained. Kate and Meghan Markle have been seen together a lot, with one particular incident revealing their difficult connection. Even though the two seemed to get along when Meghan was first brought to the family, their bond could not endure the test of time. But after the rift that caused the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to escape to the U.S., a body language expert claimed that there was a specific telling moment that exposed their genuine feelings for one another. Despite being seen smiling and conversing at events leading up to Harry and Meghan's wedding, according to Harry's biography Spare, Meghan and Kate never really clicked. After the passing of Queen Elizabeth U, the couple made fewer public appearances, but one that did occur caught everyone off guard. In order to greet mourners at Windsor Castle, Harry and Meghan went on a walkabout with their husbands. Many people had anticipated that this outing would open the door for a reconciliation, but it doesn't seem that it happened. In fact, it's been said that Kate found making the joint appearance to be one of the hardest things she's ever had to do. Although there appeared to be a united front during this outing, body language expert Judy James observed one storming gesture by Kate that showed she was not in the mood to make amends with sister-in-law Megan. The car they were all riding in came up outside the gates of Windsor Castle, she claimed, and that is when the two couples were first seen by each other that day. It was obvious the two couples had shared the ride as the car pulled up. Harry and William exited through the right-hand doors when they opened. Despite their disagreements, the brothers remained close and even stood together to greet each other. Megan followed Kate as she exited the other side. Kate made her first declaration of purpose by rushing past the brothers without giving Megan a chance to react. It was obvious that she would not try to fake conversation or unity. Megan moved to follow but stopped when she got close to the group, as if she wasn't sure whether to go with them or not. Megan was spotted by William, who then extended an arm to welcome her to join them, but Kate chose to ignore the Sussexes. While Megan remained at the back of the gathering, Harry slipped past his brother to reach his wife, who was standing and twirling her hair tensely. While joining the crowds to support competitors competing in the Invictus Games over the past week, Harry and Meghan have been beaming. The Invictus Games Foundation, which is in charge of planning the event and has Harry as a patron, says it wants to inspire global communities through the power of the unconquerable human spirit. The charity's website indicates that it is Harry's passion project and that he views the games as a significant means to promote the wellness of individuals who have served their country through a combination of ongoing care, training, and employment opportunities. Following a brief trip to the UK, Harry made an appearance at the Olympics. While there, he attended the Wellchild Awards and paid a visit to Street George Chapel in Windsor on the anniversary of his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth Yu's passing.